And Jacob, I'm pretty sure you were saying that this weekend's a good time for something like that because the weather will be so nice. Yeah, great stretch of 70s here for the weekend and temperatures warming up a bit more into next week. Great to get outside. Maybe not completely August-like, though. This first full week of August has featured below normal temperatures with 60s and 70s. We started the first couple days of the month off hot, but even with that, we're now 4 degrees below normal for the month as a whole. Here's the temperature district distribution for the start of meteorological summer, June 1st through now, of where we've seen the number of days in each of these temperature ranges, 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way up to uh, 90s and triple digits, compared to the typical number of days we see in each one of these temperature ranges. The ones that stick out to me are we've had a bit more than normal of the 70s, like we're going to see again this weekend, but then we've had a goose egg in Bismarck, zero, 100 degree plus days when we normally see about two of them through this point in summer. And when you add all that up, specifically for Bismarck and Minot, it's been a very cool start to summer, June 1st to now, again, starting with the beginning of meteorological summer on June 1st. The last time it was this cool through this period of the year was 10 years ago in 2014, where our temperature departure, again, is about a half degree to one and a half degrees below normal. And we're seeing uh, cooler weather across much of the Midwest and northern and central plains with 70s for our high temperatures today, still in the 90s along the Gulf Coast and triple digits in the desert southwest. The thing that's responsible for the cool down is this cold front that's been sweeping through, again, the central part of the country. And now we have that Canadian high pressure in place that'll be with us through the weekend, leading to calmer winds and the temperature is continuing to be in the 70s. 57, though, right now in Bismarck. We'll be dropping down to 46 tonight, 41 in Beulah and Glen Olin. I wouldn't be surprised if some rural low-lying areas drop down into the upper 30s. There's not a frost advisory in place, but temperatures will be in the low to middle 40s in north central North Dakota, low 40s in places like Crosby, Williston, Tioga, Watford City, and southwest North Dakota might have the best potential of seeing a few 38 or 39 degree readings, but 41 degrees is the current forecast for Dickinson and Hedegar and Kildeer for tonight. Temperatures in the low to middle 70s on our Saturday with a mostly sunny sky and then mid to upper 70s for your Sunday with a few more clouds in the region. So we'll step through this forecast hour by hour with high pressure settling into our region. That'll provide that sunshine and light winds for Saturday. And then into Sunday, air of low pressure does approach from the uh, southwest. So areas like Bowman, Dickinson, southeast Montana, southwest North Dakota will likely see a few showers during the day on Sunday. Otherwise, we stay dry. Just a few more clouds in the region as those showers skirt down towards the south. So here's that stripe of precipitation on Sunday from Miles City over to Bowman and then down into South Dakota. Now as we go into next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, we could see a bit more scattered to widespread shower and thunderstorm activity, and that's as dew points will also be rising, get back into the a bit humid category by next Tuesday. And that's when temperatures will also be rising. We'll get back up into the low 80s by the middle to end of next week, Emmeline. So yes. nice stretch of 70s, and then a bit more summer-like to wrap up the 70s. We're just clinging on to those last bits of summer. Yes, <laughs> All right, thanks, Jacob. You're welcome.